And from there, very quickly to the gadget and gizmo related news stories of the week. London seems to be in the midst of all the action. Besides the royal wedding that had the world glued, there was also a whole lot of tech action in the city. The much-awaited OnePlus 6 has been announced. The phone flaunts an all-glass back and front that makes it look quite premium. It has a 16-megapixel camera at the back and front, a big 6.28-inch screen and Snapdragon's latest 845 chipset. It will come out in variants of 6GB for 35,000 rupees, 8GB for 40,000 rupees, and the Avengers Special Edition 8GB for 45,000 rupees. That wasn't it. The other Chinese giant Huawei 2 launched the Honor 10 in London. With 6GB RAM and 128GB storage, the phone has a 3400mAh battery. It has a dual camera setup with 24 megapixel and 16 megapixel sensors and a front camera of 24 megapixels as well. It will be in India soon at a price of 33,000 rupees. Don't miss the show next week for all the London stories. Right, seeing as Rajiv says he's not in Mumbai for the pubs but has gone all the way there to check out the Fitbit Versa. Rajiv, over to you. All right, so the Fitbit Versa is the one that got launched out here. I'm wearing it right now. Now, this is, I think, truly a very interesting smartwatch. Fitbit finally gets aggressive in price in India. This one has four days battery life. Uh, most of the features that you need in a smartwatch, plus a fitness tracker, all put together in one. But then they launched one more thing here that I think is interesting. A fitness tracker, a band just for children, kids, between the age of about 7 or 9 to about 12 to 15. Interesting features within and then they have something which is to do with family. All of us can get together in a single 360 degree ecosystem and keep track of each other, challenge each other. So we'll show you the opening, how they launched it out here, the people that were out here and then we'll talk to Jamie from Fitbit, Yasmin Karachiwala, to tell you everything about what tech and fitness can do together and Pooja Makhija for nutrition and tech and what it can do to put it all together. Let's take a look. It's not just a band. It's an entire ecosystem strapped on your wrist. The ecosystem that's all about fitness. This is the Versa and this is actually a special edition of the band with a woven strap. The box has an additional band as well as a classic black band. In first glance, it reminds you of the Apple Watch. In fact, we placed the two side by side and the similarity was uncanny. But no doubt, it is sleek, good looking and light in weight. The mauve band with a rose gold casing seems quite eye-catching and the 1.34 inch screen is sharp. After charging it in a rather bulky charger for about an hour and a half, it promises to give you about 4 days of battery. You need to pair it with the smartphone app to get complete utility. With this, you will be able to change the watch faces, maintain your health record and even download additional apps. The left side has a single key that is the wake-up key and also acts as the back key. There are two keys on the right essentially to select or pause a workout. Once switched on, swipe to access different modes. There is the exercise mode where you can further select which activity you're participating in. For instance, if you are in for a run, it precisely calculates your steps, heart rate, calories burned and others while pausing it in case you stop to catch a breath. In the end, it displays the entire record which can also be saved on the app. Then there's an option to set an alarm. Up to 8 alarms can be set up on the watch. There's also an option to play music. With Bluetooth headphones synced to these, you can listen to music on the go. You can also transfer music onto the Fitbit. However, we do wish that there was an easier way to do this. And then there is the coach, who will make sure that you achieve all your fitness goals. For instance, if you're looking for an ab workout, the coach will show you the kind of exercises that you should perform. Similarly, there's a workout and even a warm-up routine. If you've been working for way too long, don't forget to take a short breather and calm down with the Relax app. That will help you inhale and exhale in the right way. Then there's the Weather app for timely notifications, the Payment app which is not yet functional in India, timers, settings and more. Fitbit will also be introducing 
health tracking app on the watch, specially targeting women for better understanding of their physical health and menstrual cycle. We really believe First has got a mass appeal. I mean, as you mentioned, it's you know a great price point. It's also you know beautiful design. It's bringing all the things that people want to the wrist to make their life up that little bit more convenient. And you know, I think fundamental around Fitbit is we're here for you no matter what your goal is and, and Versa truly is that watch because it's bringing your personalised information to your wrist. So it's telling you about you and making it more insightful and more actionable from the device itself. Indulging in fitness is critical for a healthy lifestyle and that's where the role of trackers becomes indispensable. However, is there any negative to this habit? And what can you do to make sure that you achieve your fitness goals? We ask the experts. So using technology is hand-holding, right? It's a little, uh, it's a little um, reminder constantly on your hand telling you uh, where you're going wrong or how you can get better and how don't forget all about me and uh, take me for a walk and use, use the activity of the magic of output. See, we all know everything's all about the quality of input and it's the quantity of output. So that, I think, is the great aid between using technology to help you, because today everything is in that world. So we may as well use it to our best, rather than just using it for entertainment. All fitness gadgets and all technology is great, but for me personally, I also think it kind of handicaps us if we allow it to take over our life. We have to remember that it's a tool to assist us with our goals, with you know where, where we want to get, with, with uh, tracking. But you can't get obsessive about it and allow it to influence your life where all the time you're checking. Like I told you earlier that I don't check my watch now to see every hour how many steps I've taken. But because I know that my watch at some point gave me that data that I wasn't moving enough, I allowed myself, because I'm a smart human being, which I'm sure all, you know, everyone out there is, it's just that we allow something else to take over our lives and then we become, so if your Fitbit's not working for some reason or it doesn't have battery, that doesn't mean your life comes to a stop, right? You allow that to teach you to live a healthier lifestyle and then the healthier lifestyle gives you better results on your watch. The Fitbit Versa is priced at about 22,000 for the special edition and 20,000 for the regular ones. Fitbit also introduced the Ace, which is specially targeted at kids and can be used for tracking their location. This will be priced at about 8,000 rupees and will be in the markets in the near future. So let's assume you have been using that Fitbit and really working out and being all fit. What's the best thing to do? Well, go get in some extra calories. Try and have a mug or a pint of fresh draft beer. And that's really where this concept comes in. You're supposed to be putting in a bottle or a can or otherwise of beer into this. And you play around with the toggle and it, if you don't take it off completely, that is. And it's supposed to use sound waves to make it just like the draft experience. But does it work? And how does it taste? Well, there's only one way to find out. With the scorching summer sun and rising temperature, we tell you how to beat the heat, but with a technological twist. Nothing's better than a chilled beverage. And if you could make that drink taste better with an enhanced flavor, then what's there to complain about? That's where this device comes, physics. And it mixes science to the art of beer making and makes bottled beer taste like draft beer. The Physics is a portable device, light to hold and easy to operate. It uses four AA batteries, which is more convenient than a plug and play charger setup. The process is fairly simple. Choose your beer from a bottle, can or a growler and just open it up. Place it inside the container, inserting the straw in the bottle and then just latch it back on. Place the glass at an angle and just move the lever forward. You can hear a buzzing sound. And that's the sound waves in action. And this is the process of enhanced carbonation and the sonification of CO2 to make the beer taste crisper and tastier. When you move the lever backward, it enhances the texture of the beer with a rich and creamy foam, which is an integral part of the entire experience. So what we do in physics is, 
We break every bubble into thousands of bubbles to ensure that it turns your beer into a draft, giving you the taste, texture and body to the beer. Physics was first showcased on a popular international reality show, The Shark Tank, where sharks showed interest in the product. It has now made its way to India and is available only at a price of about 20,000 rupees. Well, after Physics uh, went to Shark Tank and in the shark fight where every shark wanted to invest in the product, it became a phenomenon. And in the US, we have sold about half a million products. And what we have seen is huge response from individuals and pubs and breweries. We see a similar response coming from India as well. In fact, one of the luxury chain hotels in our country, we are in talks with them to have this product in their luxury suites. With just a single bottle dispensed in one go, it may not be ideal for a large gathering. But if you are a fan of draft beer and would want to change a regular bottle beer into tap beer, the physics may find a suitable spot in your bar and quench your thirst this summer.